Hi, I'm Steve Cat, Angler's Marine and Supply North Carolina. I want to talk to you today about the new Key West 250 Bailey. New model for uh, this year. Um, new color as well. Absolutely love the new Manta Gray. The grays are getting popular and whatnot. Um, fantastic inshore, light offshore boat, as all the Key West Bailey's are coming. Again, custom powder coated hard top, matching underside. They're just a beautiful boat, stainless rub rail. Let's move around to the back and talk a little bit about some of the standard features on our Key West. Um, of course, you know a lot of boats, everything's an option. Key West has very few options. Of course, you've got built-in trim tabs, of course, molded in, 12-inch. We order this boat with underwater lights, which is really, really, really cool for, you know, early morning fishing or, or running around at night around there. You know, we got two luminous little lights, of course, self in the cockpit. We chose the 300 Yamaha XCA with digital shift for this boat. Um, performs very well. It's a 60-plus mile-an-hour boat. Um, a lot of bay boats don't have a swim platform in a ladder. Um, like how Key West does that, you know, my kids are grown, but when they were little, it was very nice, and the older I get, it's very nice to be able to get back into the boat. And again, beautiful boat, a lot of features inside. Let's jump inside and get through some of those. All right, guys, in the boat, of course, you know, bay boats, fishing platforms are key. If you notice, everything is flush mounted down here. Um, the thing I like about the boats, of course, is you've got pop-up seats, but they've got latches on them, so no problems with losing cushions and whatnot. But a good ride, you know, on Sunday afternoon, you're cruising with the family and whatnot. So you've got seat there, seat there. Of course, you've got a live well here in the back of the boat, um, which is 18 gallons, which is a gracious plenty for most of your inshore stuff. Um, back compartment back here. Of course, your batteries go back in the compartment here. Um, again, your trolling motor battery, excuse me, would go back in there. And then again, just the storage over here. So they do as much as they can. That's actually your pump for your live well and stuff. Easy to access, whatnot. One thing that I love about what they've done, just little things, they've actually got a slide out cooler now, which makes life so much easier to access your cooler. Now you can open it instead of standing on your head or whatnot. It's rough, no bungee cords or anything like that to deal with. Um, custom linen post from Key West, it is powder coated, um, as well as the hard top we spoke about a few minutes ago. Of course, we like to order them with the life jacket bag, it keeps them out of your way, keeps them from getting moldy. And then, of course, your electronics box and whatnot. Um, another thing I love about the boats is they do the flip up bolsters. I'm not very tall, so this fits me very well standing, driving, or sitting especially. And they have a footrest for little short legged guys like me, which has storage in it. This works well for sunscreens and things like that. You know, they're not rolling around or whatnot. I've seen people take indoor outdoor carpet and put them in there and keep from rattling when you're going down the waterway and whatnot. Uh, of course, at the helm, we order all of them with the tilt steering, which is, you know, most folks stand up running in skinny water. Um, you got this one pretty well loaded up. Of course, anytime you go with the 300 digital shift Yamaha, you get the square command link gauge, Fusion stereo, which is my favorite, Gorman VHF, and then of course we talked about the trim tabs. There are Lenco trim tabs that have the um, actuators uh, lit up, so you can tell where your where your settings are and stuff in the floor. So just a really nice package. Um, as we go forward, <clears throat> tons of room. I like uh, boats eight and a half feet wide, but the way that they integrate the top, you know, I'm not a big guy, but you got plenty of moving around room, of course, as far as that goes. Um, most center consoles have storage under here. you got a ton below. We chose to put a portable toilet in this one. Uh, a lot of folks like having that because it is a 20 plus mile offshore boat. Um, again, um, storage, storage, storage. Um, you've got um, room for your cushions. You've got a, a liner right there to kind of conceal your stuff, even if it's extra life jackets and whatnot. Coleman bolster all the way around the side, so that's nice on the knees when you're fishing, tighten the fish, uh, docking, whatnot. Um, did over it with uh, fender cleats, which is very nice. You're not sharing a cleat uh, with your, you know, your, your bow line, stern line cleat with your fender. So it just makes life a little bit easier. Um, one thing that I love that they have done, uh, lots of complaints over the years, is that bay boats don't have enough storage. They don't have enough fish box. Well, they fixed that. You've got a coffin box now that is huge. You've got plenty of room. It's got a macerator in it, of course. Um, for grinding up, you know, whatever un unwanted scales and things left that you don't want. And it also makes a fantastic seat. Um, that's one of the best seats in the house as far as I'm concerned. And again, that allowed them to do two rod lockers now up front, which could be fish boxes. They're insulated and drained too, but you've got storage for up to 10 rods and they are lockable. So it makes, uh, makes a big difference, you know, because again, you know, you fish for inshore in the morning, you get offshore in the afternoon, vice versa, you wind up with 10 rods on the boat. You've got room for everything uh, as far as that goes. The, um, the Bay Reef has a huge casting platform forward. Again, another live well forward. So you've got two. So you can have two different kinds of fishing stations going on at the same time. And then again, when you get down here in the floor, you just got a place for your bucket. Works. You get done with your cast net, boom, right here in the floor. It's out of your way. You're not taking up another one of your compartments up front. 
They also left the fish box here, um, which also has a cutout for another bucket. Uh, could be a backup fish box or cooler. They're all insulated, of course, and they're all drained overboard. Um, come up front again, just a fantastic casting platform. Of course, that's anchor storage compartment. We normally order the boats pre-rigged, ready to go for a trolling motor. Nine out of ten folks want a trolling motor. I don't blame them, I would too. They've made the bow to handle up to a 72-inch shaft. Um, Minn Kota is what we sell or whatnot. Uh, just a fantastic package. Um, very excited about this boat. Um, again, home run on storage, fit and finish, the whole nine yards. Again, my name is Steve Catlett, Angler's Marine, 250 Bay Reef by Key West. Come see us.